Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are here to do a general read to see where your energy is. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts if you made it through. Purple hearts if it resonates. Green hearts if you work it on. And yellow hearts if you rock with me. Got my six, me to have my back because I have yours. Ooh, and it's not a good read so far. Uh, well, every read is a good read because <laughs> right now, you're the king of swords in the reverse, and also there is a king of pentacles in the upright and an empress in the reverse, but somebody walked away because of the struggle. So this just lets you know that you are getting your power back when it comes to, yeah, changing the outcome, ten of swords energy. So, yeah, you're changing the outcome based up on le being left out in the cold and feeling insecure, like with bo block creativity, paying attention. Uh, to your body, dependence, and neg negligence. But the Eight of Cups in the reverse is a lack of direction. You just don't know what direction you're going into. Queen of Swords in the reverse says the devoid uh, of emotions. To me, this is somebody, uh, the Queen of Swords in the reverse, is somebody who is all over everywhere, meaning not, you know, speaking your mind, but also it's like in the process of not knowing what it is that you want to do uh, uh, when it comes to um, not having an ultimate provider or being the ultimate provider, but it says a strong sense of self-worth, worth, financially stable, hardworking, dependable, successful, grounded, abundant, secure. And, oh, my mom asked me how the keys turn out, and I didn't make it. Um, and being stable. So this is where the changing of the outcome is because – you are all over the place talking about how you feel, like you don't know what to do. Should I stay? Should I go? You know, should I do this? Should I not do this? Because this doesn't have to be in regards to love. This could be just in your emotions when it comes to, you know, rejection or turmoil or it says the harsh conditions or financial ruins or a change or some type of breakup that has happened or feeling alienated because and now you're at this point to where you feel insecure and uh, feel like, um, you're kind of lying to yourself in order to keep yourself going, but it's like you're staying in different situations for all the wrong reasons, not because you need to be there, because you know you need to leave, but because you've been there and you've already, what you're going to say is wasted time. And so why not just try to make this last or something like that, especially when it comes to a job or when it comes to a relationship or some type of situation. So that is where the change of the outcome is coming because you're over it. You're moving on. You're repairing it, you know, and it says come back or it says reconcile, making a comeback or reconcile, but it could be regeneration of a relationship, ten of swords in the reverse, but it's no happiness there. You're deciding to do something. You're deciding to change the outcome like it says, but you have to get to a point to where you realize that why you're here. Does that make sense? And so... um, I'm going to pull from the law of attraction first um, to see what it is that you're attracting or what you're looking into uh, when it comes to this situation. You know, again, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Um, the thing is, is that you want to be the ultimate provider for any situation, which you are. The, yeah, and you have to just go for it. There is enough contemplation when it comes to how you feel about certain situations. And yeah, you have to go for it. There is crisis here. Uh, restructuring life blessings within yeah and you got to believe in yourself listen to the read that i just did before this one i think i called it 50 shades of gray um and release attachments yeah 50 shades of gray so that is yeah the negative attachments be free and find inner peace in a situation and clearing your past trauma and uh it says physical mental or spiritual practices uh love inner child yeah finding your own path and not going down a direction of people because again I already wasted this time I might as well stay a little bit longer no that causes mayhem and at the bottom of the deck is giving and receiving there's a difference from, there's a difference from giving and receiving and also dealing with take takers and that's where you have to release attachments and just go for it it says be free of expectations feel great about letting go you have to feel great about letting go because there's lack of direction and you feel like you're you're beating yourself up because of the past things that you went through and you're not going your old path and so you have to release attachments and understand that crisis comes and endings mean in tower moments when you have to restructure your life 
and always remember that the blessings are within. So you not being able to, you know, see the vision of what it is that you want to do. You have to realize that you're ultimate provider no matter what. And you have been successful in your own right and very dependable and hard work. Reminds me of the four agreements when it, it says you've done your best. You've done your best. So the way you gave and received, received your time, energy, and whatever it is, financial, mentally, spiritually, or emotionally, you've done that. And when it comes to the Ten of Swords energy, you have to change the outcome of why it is that you're not choosing to do this anymore, why you're releasing attachments, because it's causing you doubt. It's causing you doubt, and it's causing you not to believe in yourself, and to doubt is not to believe. And so, therefore, you're not going to doubt your situation. You're going to realize that you've been your own sunshine in this whole situation. So, if this is in regards to love, we'll pull this energy. And if it's in regards to finance, we'll pull another energy. And so, therefore, you have to know it's in the reverse. You have to know that you have the, yeah, you have the power to be able to, yeah, not hold on or dwell about the past lives. And that's why it came in a reverse. It says also, yeah, and control your feelings. You have to go down your own path and have inner peace. And basically with the mayhem, the manifest, it was says, your manifestation is happening. Current issues reveal past wounds. Spiritual growth hang tight. And it says your own path. You're the trailblazer. You're the person who's everything to everyone else. And it says uh, trailblazer, trail, trailblazing brings the greatest achievements, heart and mind aligned, unconditional, uh, unconditional, unconditionality and authenticity. So that's the same thing. The heart and the mind is giving and receiving because you can. And that's your feelings. Take time out to explore deep emotions you are experiencing and the power releasing attachments and inner peace in order to gain your power back. Be free of expectations. Feel great about letting go. Longing gives vibes are not having. Longing gives vibes of not having. So again, release the attachments of the things that you've been longing for, right? Right? To doubt is not to believe, but you've been longing for this situationship, this this uh, relationship, this job, these things like that. Go for it. You know, this business, you have to take your power back. It says the power of love is like a magnet drawing souls together. And so if the past lives, it says we re reunite with our loved ones over and over again through many different lives. And so if this is not happening the way you want, you have to look at the signs, signs and synchronicities. It says watch out for the signs leading you to true love. So if this is about true love and you're looking for a provider, you have to understand that you got to kiss a couple of frogs in order to get to um, the provider or the person who's going to love you unconditionally. However, you have to be this for yourself. So no matter what you think, no matter how you feel, nobody is just going to give and receive without wanting something in return. So it's just best for you to give that self to your, uh, give that energy to yourself and give and receive for yourself instead of giving it all out and people taking a t um, taking advantage of your kindness. And that's when you have to release it, release the attachments because it's causing a lot of crisis and a lot of doubt and insecurities. And you're not having inner peace or going your own path because you're steady living in mayhem, me, mayhem of the past wounds or the past lives or the past relationships that you've been a part of, if that makes sense. And so we're going to go ahead and pull from the finance deck, because if this is about finances, you're going to still have to take your power back and work on things that you normally wouldn't work on. Or, you know, you work hard no matter what, but you're going to have to literally go for it. Get out of the imposter syndrome of, you know, sabotaging your emotions when it comes to, yeah, the des your destiny. And sometimes you have to halt uh, certain things. And it says money has come to a complete halt or money is slow in coming in. And um, the five of coins energy is basically that it's, you know, it's, it's some type of financial ruin. So if this is in regards to finances or in regards to love or rejection, it says, don't borrow more than you can, than you can repay. Debt might be piling up. So your destiny is, it says, believe in your dreams, right? Your own path, right? And inner peace. Believe in your dream. Believe in your dreams and passion. It um, and passions. It is your calling to follow them. Whatever led you to this point in your life, it was to direct you to a higher purpose, right? And that is where you have to pay attention to the signs and also change the outcome. And so the mayhem. It says manifesting. Manifestation is happening now. But back to um, new exciting adventures await you. Don't look back. 
um, only look to the future. Live in the present moment and look to the future when it comes to knowing that your future is going to be bright and you're going to be able to manifest the things that you want. Check the last uh, reading out that I did. Now I got to see what it's called because all of these readings are in sync with each other. Um, the last reading that I did was, doo -doo -doo -doo, hold on. Hold on, let me tell you the name of the reading. Oh, uh, I think it was Fifty Shades of Grey. Hold on. Let me see. Yeah, it was Fifty Shades of Grey. So look at that. Uh, giving and receiving, understanding the signs and synchronicities, but it's understanding also when you're unfulfilled uh, and why you need to change the outcome. Unfulfilled is here and giving and receiving and the signs and synchronicities. Everything is energy. Reciprocate. Recipro recipro Reciprocation, but reciprocity is what I'm trying to say. Give and receive easily to uh, ease, give and receive easily to others and yourself. Random acts of kindness. So, Six of Pentacles energy was in my last reading, given to others wholeheartedly without expecting to receive the same yourself. However, it was in the reverse. You're not just going to give and receive give give to people who take advantage of you. And so, you need to go ahead and check that other reading out. And the unfulfilled is you could have an emotional attachment to a job that is no longer serving you. I said a job. I said I said a relationship. It says explore your wants and your needs and consider a change. Again, change the outcome, changing the outcome, right? And then it says you're unhappy with your income but too scared to make a change. Go for it. And that is you changing the destiny and having things at a halt because things are happening to you and you have to understand why they're happening. And again, the artist, it says, focus on finding the beauty in the day-to-day -day life. That's living in the present moment. The artist can be a photographer, painter, film, uh, graphic artist, or web designer. If you can make a living with your art uh, full-time, start part-time just to get started. That's going for it, right? Because these things, these emotions, and uh, they cause you stagnation, and they cause you to lose your power and to kind of focus on feelings but they're negative feelings so you have to be at peace with your own path and you have to release the negative attachments and that's sometimes doubt fear and not being able to move forward and pay attention to the signs because the universe constantly sends you signs you just have to go for it in the process of knowing that what you're going through right now you're unfulfilled and it doesn't cause you inner peace it causes more mayhem than anything else so um you got to hang tight and it reveals the issues in the past wounds. And so these are the issues that you face. This doesn't necessarily have to be when it comes to love, but it has to be what you're feeling and when you constantly involve. And so I'm going to pull from the evolution of the soul because that is where you are right now. You're evolving, but again, you're evolving because you're at a standstill. And that is how I see it. Shortcuts and patience comes out. So the shortcuts, you can't take shortcuts in regards to this. Must go deeply into the process. Can't speed up your evolution. Resist trying to skip levels. So do it the right way. Slow and steady rinse, wins the race. Bottom of the deck is a new territory. So the artist, a new territory. It says meant to try new things in life. A walk is unfamiliar. A walk in unfamiliar territory. Yes, taking the leap of faith causes you to walk in unfamiliar territory. And it says enabling success through learning. You're learning to take things slow, to be patient, to know that slow and steady wins the race, and that you can't speed up these things. You are, are meant to go through these things, and you know, and have the lack of direction or the doubt, and be blocked, and also go through term or your loss and changing and breaking up because that causes you to be stronger so rep recognize the signs and understand how you give and receive the way you love the way you want to be loved and the things in regards to that and just because you feel like you know this person in a past life or you feel like you had something with this person and you wasted all these times and all these things have happened this person has also caused you to have lack of inner peace and also caused you to be very emotional and to doubt yourself person place job situation it's caused you doubt and so to doubt is not to believe and so believe you can and you're halfway there and so that's the reason why you have to know your worth and never give up on yourself and know that you're an asset not a liability and a lot of the times the takers are liabilities and they're not assets to you there's nothing that you can do but it says she believe hold on it says she believed that she could 
and she did. And so, again, circling back is the biggest thing that we do that keeps us in limbo and lack the direction and also the confidence that we need to move forward. We have to be confident within ourselves, but if you're waiting for somebody to build you up, that's not going to happen. So you have to be able to believe in yourself and go from there. So I'm going to go ahead and pull. Let me see. Um, I wanted to pull, I think it's this deck right here. Hold on. Yeah, it is the, what is it called? The Cozy Witch Tarot deck. I'm going to pull from here, and then we're going to go ahead and pull from the four agreements. If you guys want to know my perspective of the four agreements, I'll put it above, and also the chakras, because in order for you to man, to understand the four agreements, yeah, you have a decision to make two of pentacles, and then we have the broom and the three of cups. Um, the, the broom is... Um, the death energy, um, which is change, right? And um, then we have the, the three of cups energy. And the three of cups is coming together as a cohesive unit, finding the people who complete you uh, and not deplete you. And that's the reason why you have to change your territory. New territory is here. You have to change and you have to be okay with changing the outcome. And sometimes that's moving forward and doing things because the nine of swords energy, this is anxiety. You're standing up at 3 a.m., there's a clock here, 3 a.m., the swords are there. If one false move, you hit your head on the headboard, and they're going to fall on you. But, again, you have to be able to change the outcome. And it says we all get a bit carried away with our worries sometimes. And so that is what's causing stagnation in the field this way. And so sometimes the Two of Pentacles energy says when life gets chaotic, find a way to get around, get, get grounded and balanced. Go into nature. Uh, hold on, I, I can't see what that says. Because it's real light. Mm -hmm. Something and believe. What does it say? See, see, I don't know. Here, I'll put it up there. Maybe you guys can see it because I cannot see it. Hold on, let me try to make it work on her shirt. Mm. Yeah, I, you can't see it. That's exactly how I see it. So I know my eyes ain't playing tricks on me. But I know it's believe. You can kind of see that it's believed, but I don't know what that top word is. So, yeah, this is you making a decision. But it says, when life gets chaotic, find a way, get a, uh, find a way to get grounded and balanced. And so that's what you're doing. And the broom energy is, remember, sweeping out the old, out with the old, in with the new. You know, you sweep out all the madness and stuff like that. It's tidying up your life so you can make space for something better. Again, making space for something better, changing, right? Signs and synchronicities, changing the outcome, making room for better, giving and receiving new territories, the artists doing things that you wouldn't normally do, and also understanding that being pessimistic and also um, not telling yourself the truth or being in limbo and faking happiness is not who you are and blocking your, it blocks your creativity and also um, it makes you feel insecure and rejected and also... Um, it says have financial ruin and alienate it. So that is why you have to sweep out the old and in with the new. The three of cups energy, it says come together with your coven. And so this is you finding people again to complete you and not deplete you. And that is why your life is going into mayhem because you don't have anybody that's going to support you in the needs of and, and again you have to support yourself first but you don't have anybody that's going to push you to be great you have to be great on your own you cannot wait for anybody to make you great but that's the reason why it's telling you you're strong you're dependable you've done your best in all these situations all adversity you've been the stable for everyone else even though when you weren't really stable so now it looks like you've changed and ended things this is boxes here and new new places and you don't really know what you are but you're going to clean it up before you put anything out and you're going to go for it so that's just kind of how i see that now i think we can go ahead and pull from the crystal deck and then you guys want to know the definitions of the crystals uh, or excuse me not the crystal deck the four agreements but if you want to know how i feel about the four agreements i'll click the link above and then we're pulling from the crystal deck but this is be impeccable with your words say what you want mean what you say stop doubting yourself stop um, trying to find shortcuts to get into where you need to be. Slow and steady wins the race. Take your power back. So it says, express your, express your love. Express your love. And so it's expressing your love. It says impeccability of the word can be measured by your level of self-love. If you love yourself, you will express that love in your interactions with others. And that action will produce a little reaction. So again, 
with others. Express your love and the reaction of others, right? Nobody can treat you the way you don't want to be treated, right? You only give them the option to overstep your boundaries because you don't create them. And so, therefore, if you set the tone right then in the beginning, then there's no way for somebody to go back and to, to, to step over your boundaries and really not pay attention to them. So you have, it's what you do in the beginning in order to move forward uh, in the long run, right? And so we're going to go ahead and pull from the crystal deck, and then we're going to let this energy go. The fields, the ruby and field spar. The ruby and field spar. It says uh, the root and the heart chakra. Again, click the link if you want to know the chakra meanings uh, from my perspective. Awareness, balance, and passion. It says, I am open to giving and receiving expressions of divine love. I am open to giving and receiving expressions of divine love. So that is it. You're going to express your love. You're going to give and receive. Again, giving and receiving is here, right? You're going to give and receive. You're going to express your love. And then you're going to be accountable for how people treat you. And you're not going to let it cause you anxiety when you have to move forward and have a new territory because the people didn't took your kindness for weakness and you're not going to rush things. You're going to take your power back, and that's a part of it, if that makes sense. So all this is about love and how you give and receive and what you learn from how you give it too much and why you're not going for it, for it. You are in charge of your destiny, and you are in charge of taking your power back, and sometimes that takes for you to be patient. Did I read patience? I don't think I did. Yeah, I don't think I did. Resist the skip levels. Yeah, I don't think I did. I don't know. But anyway, master the ability to wait, prepare and take care of the details. Don't act if the timing isn't right. And so be patient with yourself, with your love. Don't make permanent decisions on temporary emotions. Be patient and understand that it's time for you to take your power back. And there you have it. So go for it, right? I might name this go for it. It's time to take your power back, but or take your power back. Anyway, let's let this old energy go. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I love you guys.